Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today for our reading uh, in collaboration with the Solidarity Fund. This is all about vaccines. And the wonderful special thing about today's reading is that it's not just me and the book. We also have an expert on the matter of vaccines and her name is Dr. Nogukanya Msomi. Uh, and she is going to be joining us today, uh, ensuring that we have the correct information as we talk about children and vaccines. My name is Nogukhan Masango. I'm an author and I'm very excited to be here with everybody thank you so much for uh, giving us this, this part of your morning and joining us here today. Uh, I just want to remind you all that uh, if you would like to share any of the information that you find today on social media, please do, do use the hashtags, hashtag unity in action and hashtag vaccine rollout SA. And this is in solidarity with the, this is in solidarity and collaboration with the Solidarity Fund who have excellent resources for everyone to tap into. Um, we know that COVID-19, uh, this pandemic, since it began in our country from last year, March, it's been a very difficult time for so many of us. So many of us have lost loved ones. So many of us have um, had difficulties in our working lives, but it's not the time to give up. It's the time to become stronger than ever, to unite more than we ever did before um, as we go into this third wave and as we um, await vaccinations to reach the entire country. Um, so what I want to also alert everyone to is that Solidarity Fund has got a wonderful website. You know, they have been one of the foremost organizations in ensuring that South Africans have the correct information when it comes to the COVID-19 pandemic, that South Africans are able to keep themselves safe. Uh, so if everyone can go to solidaritifund.co.za forward slash information hub, there you will find a wonderful toolkit that's been put together in the various South African languages. It's accessible, uh, it has important information. So whether you are traveling, whether you are shopping, preparing food, or having a small gathering like a wedding in your home, all of the information about how to keep yourself and your loved ones safe is right there. Uh, and of course, there's also information about the COVID-19 pandemic, about the vaccine, about differentiating between, you know, the flu and COVID-19, all of those really intricate kinds of questions you might have, all of those are answered in the Solidarity Hub's toolkit on Solidarity Fund dot co dot za forward slash information hub so now i would like to introduce everybody to our expert today her name is dr nukukanya msomi and she's the head of discipline of virology at the university of kwazulu natal and she's um, and also at the national health laboratory service and we're very honored to have you with us today good morning doctor Good morning, Lemo Hang, and good morning to everybody that has joined us this morning. It is my pleasure and I look forward to today's engagement, especially with the special audience that is uh, our little people. I have a soft spot uh, for children and this is a great pleasure for me. Thank you, Doctor. So could you please expand uh, to everyone, what is your role as a virologist? What do you do for us as South Africans? Okay, so I am a clinical virologist. Um, so a clinical virologist is a virologist who was first a, a normal clinician, so a medical practitioner who specialized. So we specialists in the pathology of viral diseases. So our core uh, function or, or focus is in the diagnosis of viral infections. So we mostly laboratory based. Um, as well as um, the, the treatment. So advising our fellow uh, doctors and clinicians on the appropriate treatment for, for various viral diseases and as well as prevention. And part of prevention obviously encompasses uh, vaccines. Uh, we also do uh, various types of research uh, from the basic science of what goes behind um, the, the, the pathology of viral diseases so that that encompasses all that we do.
So I'm going to get into this reading. I'm going to be reading uh, a wonderful little book by Bridget Gongle. It was written and illustrated by her. It's called all about vaccines and this is a really great resource to have this and books like it are very great resources to have for parents and guardians who are thinking about vaccinations and how to explain to the little people in their lives about the importance of vaccinations uh, and something we know uh, as, as South Africans as people is that vaccinations are just the very normal way of life for all of us but of course because of the COVID-19 pandemic you know it has become a little bit more complex. It requires a little bit more information because this is a very new disease. And so uh, people like Dr. Nogukanya Somi all over the world have had to think about this in very new ways because it's a new uh, kind of disease that we're dealing with. So we're going to get into this book. And as soon as we are done, we are going to pose a few questions to our expert, Dr. Msomi. And I encourage everyone at home, any questions you may have, please can you pose them? Uh, it is a wonderful opportunity to speak to a virologist who knows all about um, vaccines and, and children especially. So please do ask those questions and remember that you are sharing any information onto your social medias using hashtag unity in action and hashtag vaccine rollout essay. So let's start. This is all about vaccines a reader for parents and children, written and illustrated by Bridget Gongbo. Hey there, do you want to learn more about vaccines? Well, you're in the right place. You might have questions about vaccines like, what are vaccines? How do they work? Why are they important? In this book, we're going to talk all about the answers to these questions. So as soon as you're ready, let's get started. Vaccines are an amazing scientific invention. They are very important because they protect us from diseases and even save lives. And as you can see in that little syringe, there's the vaccine saying, I'm awesome. So how do vaccines work? Well, a vaccine is made from a disease. It might be made from a part of a disease or a weakened or dead form of a disease. And there's the bad guy. You see him right there? That's the disease. So that's the thing that makes you sick and gives you sniffles and makes you cough. That form of a disease in a vaccine is injected into your body. This means it gets put into your body with a shot. So they take the bad guy and they inject it into your body. When a vaccine is injected into your body, your immune system gets to work. Your immune system is like a superhero that protects you from getting sick. So there's your immune system wearing a cape and it's always there in your body, making sure that as soon as you get sick, it does everything it can to make you better. After a vaccine enters your body, your immune system learns how to fight and destroy the disease in a vaccine. When this happens, your body becomes immunized from the disease. So remember, they injected the bad guy, the disease, into your body, right, using the vaccine. And so your immune system immediately notices that there's a bad guy, so it starts to attack the bad guy, right? And it destroys the disease that is in the vaccine. Being immunized means that if a disease tries to make your body sick after you get vaccinated, your body can protect itself from the disease, right? So there's your body, the little dinosaur, because we're all little dinosaurs, right? So there's your body, it's been immunized, and because your immune system knows that bad guy and has fought that bad guy before, when that bad guy tries to come again, your body's immunized. So there you are, not getting sick, and your body's protecting itself. So instead of getting sick, 
your body's immune system already recognizes the disease and knows how to fight and kill it. It's pretty awesome. And it is. So there's your body and all the little superheroes that are immune system. And they see that bad guy and they attack him. And the bad guy can't come in and the bad guy can't get you sick. So when you get your vaccines, a doctor or nurse will give you a shot. It will probably hurt, but only a little bit. See? So there's the doctor, and there you are, and they gave you just a little prick, and they put a cute little bandage on it. When it's over, you will be protected from all sorts of scary diseases. So there you are. But it won't hurt long, and now I'm protected. See? So it's just a little pinch, but just like that, your body is protected for a very, very long time. So because they protect us from diseases, vaccines are really important. Before we had vaccines, a lot of people got very sick from illnesses like polio, measles, and smallpox. With vaccines, we don't have to worry about getting sick from these diseases anymore. It's also really important that you get vaccines because there are some people who are too little or too sick to get vaccinated. When you get your vaccines, you protect yourself and the people who can't get vaccines too. So see, there you are and you got vaccinated because you're able to, but all the other people who are maybe a little bit too sick to get vaccines or a little bit too young to get vaccines, all of them are protected because you got vaccinated. So you become like a superhero too. So this is because when you get your vaccine, you act like an immune system for the people who can't get vaccines. So if everyone who can get vaccines is vaccinated, diseases can't live or make anyone sick. So this helps to protect everyone from diseases. And like I said before, there you are wearing your superhero cape because now that you're vaccinated, your body is almost like an immune system. So what does that mean? It means that other people around you are also protected because you managed to ensure that your body fought off the bad guys by getting a vaccine. So we know all of these things about vaccines because of science, and science is amazing. There are many, many scientists and doctors like Dr. Nokukanyam Somi who work on vaccines to make sure that they're safe. See, so there are all the doctors all over the world, like Dr. Nokukanya, all of them are working to make sure that we have the answers we need and we have the vaccines we need so all of us can be safe and healthy. So stay healthy, protect yourself and your loved ones by getting those vaccines. And if you have questions, please be sure to ask your doctor or nurse like Dr. Msomi today. Thank you so much for reading. And there again is our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful superhero, the vaccine saying, I'm awesome. And vaccines truly are the end. So that is our wonderful book called All About Vaccines, which is written and illustrated by Bridget Gongel that I read for us today. And now we're going to welcome Dr. Msomi back to us because we have a few questions about vaccines. Uh, so what we would like to know, doctor, first of all, is what are the benefits of vaccinating children specifically? Okay. Um, so just maybe picking up level from, from what you have uh, read in the book, it's a lovely book, I enjoyed it thoroughly, um, is, is that um, vaccination makes us immune uh, from all the hojas and all the uh, disease causing germs that are around um, us. Um, it not only protects you, it also protects the people around us, and that's very important. Uh, the reason why uh, vaccination is done routinely in childhood, so uh, young people, is that when we are born, 
our bodies have not yet learned how to fight off infections because they would not have seen infections before. So we teach our immune system and we teach our bodies to be able to defend themselves, uh, to be able to recognize all these hochas that would cause disease by putting these uh, vaccines into our bodies. Uh, the vaccines, what is important to note is that um, the, the vaccine that is given, it's a germ lookalike. It's not really uh, the real germ, so it does not cause disease. It only tricks the body into thinking that there was a, an infection. And in that way, the body, when it sees something similar in future, it knows how to respond and protect you from getting disease or getting in any illness. So the reason for children specifically with being vaccinated in early childhood is to teach our bodies uh, to uh, respond when we, as we grow and we get exposed to all sorts of uh, diseases, obviously because we don't live in bubbles. Um, and when we face these uh, infections, our bodies are ready to respond and we do not get sick. Um, a lot of us may be too young to remember, but when we were still a little babies, our mummies, daddies, aunts, and gogos would have taken us to a clinic or to a doctor to get the shots done. And these shots are what protect us now from most of the infections, uh, the rashes, the chicken pox, um, uh, the measles, uh, a lot of viral infections that occur in childhood, even other bacterial infections as well. There are a lot of uh, vaccines against those. Thank you so much for those insights, Dr. Msomi. Uh, and something that I'd, I'd love for you to elaborate on because you did mention uh, our, our mothers and our grannies taking us to clinics and hospitals to get vaccinated. Could you please walk us through what some of the common vaccinations are for children uh, from birth? Okay, so we get vaccinated right from the first day that we arrive in this beautiful world. So we get a vaccine at birth. Um, um, the schedule differs in different countries, but I'll maybe make examples of what happens typically in our country, South Africa. So at birth, you will get a vaccine against um, a disease called tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is that bad chest infection that causes damage to our lungs. And because we know that our country has, uh, has had a high problem of TB uh, before and continues to have a problem of TB or tuberculosis, it is um, the reason why we get this uh, vaccination very early in life so that we grow strong and our lungs are not damaged when we get exposed. We also get uh, vaccines against many other viral infections that cause other chest infections and pneumonia, we get pneumococcal vaccines, uh, we get vaccines against some form of liver diseases, hepatitis B specifically. Uh, we get, um, I made a, a mention of some of the rashes of childhood, uh, like the measles, which we get around six to nine months. Uh, we also get vaccinated against mumps which causes swelling around our, our necks and cheeks and um, may also cause other complications which we, we, we do not want to have. And we also get um, other rashes prevented like a chicken pox, which may sometimes cause a, 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 you know, a blistering rash on our bodies, but may have very severe complications in others. And uh, I liked that, um, um, you made mention that uh, when we get vaccinated, um, your act of vaccination protects you, but it also protects those that are too weak to get a vaccine because sometimes uh, people get vaccinated, cannot get vaccinated because of, um, of uh, very weak immune systems or other illnesses that may not allow them to mount enough of an immunity. So when those around them are immunized and protected, then they also get protected, even if they didn't get vaccinated. And this concept we call herd immunity. Other vaccines that we get as we grow older, and uh, maybe just before we hit puberty, are those vaccines uh, like the human papillomavirus vaccine. And this is a vaccine that is given to young girls and boys before uh, 
where they hit puberty. And this is to prevent um, uh, the cancer uh, that is caused by this virus, the human papilloma virus. And then as we grow old, we also get other vaccines like the flu vaccine, which we uh, get almost every year. This may be given in childhood from uh, the age of one right up to even myself, I had the flu vaccine not so long ago. Thank you so much, Doctor. And I think what I'm hearing from what you're saying is that vaccines really are normal. It's something that we all have grown up with. It's something that we've all encountered, even if we don't really have a memory of it. And so uh, now in this era of COVID-19, the vaccine is here to do what it has done for us before, which is keep us healthy and keep us protected. I see that we have a question and I'd like to uh, further encourage everyone at home to please ask any questions you have. You may have. I don't know how often any of you guys get to sit with a virologist, but you know, for me, it's a rare opportunity. So please, any questions you have, let us know and we'll address them to Dr. Msomi. So right now, I see we have a question from Ntabiseng Mabetela. Thank you so much, Ntabiseng, for your question. It says, hello, Dr. Mdalose. Can you please also touch on the HPV vaccines? Oh, there you you, you already have done that. So then Ntabiseng, uh, Dr. Msomi has answered your question. Thank you so much for posing it. Um, Dr. Msomi, the other question that I had uh, is if you could please expand, because you had mentioned the concept of herd immunity, can you please expand on those diseases that we actually no longer have to worry about as a result of vaccination, as a result of herd immunity? Okay, so maybe just taking it a, a step back again to the goals of vaccination and the goals of immunization is to protect you as a person and to protect the, 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 the rest of, of the community at large. Uh, so how herd immunity is achieved is uh, like we were making an example that some people may not be able to take vaccinations because of uh, uh, their immune system does not allow them to take vaccination. And viruses or, or bacteria or any disease causing bugs work by transmitting from one person to the next person. So if um, two people before the next person have been immunized or vaccinated, it means the virus does not have that chain of transmission. It does not spread from person A to person B and it breaks. And that is how we get herd immunity in that some people get vaccinated who are susceptible because the people around them are vaccinated and immunized. Another big goal of vaccination is uh, the bigger ultimate goal in, in, in that we aim to <clears throat> eliminate diseases from the face of the earth and eventually eradicate them. Uh, we now know that um, there used to be a disease called smallpox and there was the very first disease uh, that had a vaccine formed, uh, created against back in the 18th century. So very, very long ago. Um, so, um, and because of the success of uh, the vaccination program against um, a smallpox, we no longer have smallpox in the world. It's been completely eradicated. And some of us have not even have, have the need to receive a vaccine against smallpox because it has been wiped from the face of the earth. Other vaccines uh, that have been eliminated, sorry, sorry, other diseases that have been eliminated are diseases like uh, the poliovirus. So poliomyelitis, which causes paralysis of, of the limbs uh, predominantly um, in South Africa. We recently had uh, our certificate uh, showing that we are now polio free. So um, that's the bigger goal of vaccination in that um, when we are, when we have that herd immunity and when we have very good coverage uh, and response uh, from, from vaccines, we eliminate the disease from existing in the community. And that's the bigger goal. Thank you so much, Dr. Msomi. Um, it really has been such an informative 
morning with you today. Uh, thank you for all of the work that you do for us in South Africa. Uh, you're one of those superheroes that we have, as you mentioned in the book. So thank you so much for your knowledge, your insights and being with us this morning. Um, I see that there are no further questions. So I'm going to take that as a positive thing that everyone's questions and curiosities have been addressed throughout the reading and throughout Dr. Msomi's uh, informative responses. I want to thank everyone uh, again as we draw the session to a close. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you have all the information that you need to make the best decisions for your children moving forward. And that, of course, is vaccination. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone once more to please visit www.solidaritybund.co.za forward slash information hub for all of the information you need regarding the pandemic, how to keep yourself healthy and protected. And if we, of course, we know that those uh, those things that we have been doing have kept us safe to this point, and that is sanitizing, that is washing our hands with soap and water, that is wearing masks in public, that is social distancing, um, and of course just really um, doing the best we can for our families to keep ourselves safe. So thank you everybody for joining us, and I hope you all have a great morning further. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.